Downy brome is a grassy weed that can grow in lawns and poses challenges for livestock producers. This winter annual thrives in various soil types with a shallow root system adapted for water extraction. Come spring, this plant will absorb any available moisture before the local grasses can, release thousands of seeds to spread rapidly, potentially harm livestock, and pose fire hazards as the season's generation dies out. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify downy brome, how to get rid of it, and how to prevent it from growing back on your property. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about weed management, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Downy brome, also known as cheap grass, will grow from 3 to 18 inches in height depending on the moisture available. During fall when the plant germinates, it stays low to the ground and is barely noticeable. When spring comes around, the plant absorbs any moisture it can get and grows to height. Downy brome grows distinctive, drooping seed heads with 10 to 18 millimeter long spikelets. These awns are rough, puncturing and scratching skin, and if ingested, it can even cut the animal's intestines. The leaves are soft and hairy. Mature downy brome turns brownish red, dropping seeds for the next generation. After producing seeds, the plant dies. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Downy brome thrives in loose, sandy, moist soils, mainly in ranges, pastures, along railroads, and in abandoned sandy fields, parks, mined land, and barren areas. It often dominates infertile soil stressed by factors like wildfires, overgrazing, or other causes. Downy brome is easily identifiable when it matures and develops its drooping seed heads. If it's early in the plant's growth cycle, recall where the weed grew the previous season. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets out of the treated areas until dry. Downy brome is an annual weed, so you don't have to worry about a taproot living through multiple treatment applications. If you completely control one generation before it can produce seeds, then no future generations can thrive. To get rid of downy brome established on your property, we recommend you use Eraser 41% Glyphosate. This product is a non-selective herbicide, so be careful during application. We recommend you use this product with a marking dye like Vision Pro Max and that you mix and apply your solution with a handheld pump sprayer. Before any application, calculate the square footage of your treatment area. Use this value to determine how much product to use. For spot treatments, mix 2.5 fluid ounces of eraser into 1 gallon of solution to treat 300 square feet. If you're adding Vision Pro Max marking dye, this product is highly concentrated, so you'll only need 1 tenth of a fluid ounce per 1 gallon of solution. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the plant's leaves are fully coated. Spot spray any downy brome you've spotted on your property. You should start to see the affected plants die within 2 to 4 days, but you may make a reapplication after 7 to 10 days if the weed is particularly hardy. Eraser is a non selective herbicide and will kill whatever you spray, so be careful when applying near or over turf grass. Areas with turf grass may be reseeded 7 days after application. For the best results, apply eraser over downy brome in the fall or early spring before seeds are produced. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. The best way to keep out grassy weeds like downy brome is to promote your native turf grass's health. Strong, healthy grass leaves less room for weeds to establish themselves in. Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches. Rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris. Regularly mow your grass to its proper height and employ a proper watering schedule to provide your lawn with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds or disease. Most lawns require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. Downy brome thrives when it has access to sunlight, so by keeping your turf healthy and lush, you shade out the weed seeds and hinder their growth. 
With these professional products and tips from, sol from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop weeds like downy brome from taking over your grass, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.